Hi there. Sometimes we find ourselves uh, faced with uh, beliefs or we might even call them myths about things such as lens focal lengths. So let's start the conversation with a statement that I, I don't think anybody will take any great argument with. And that is that for a full frame, that is 35 millimeter film size camera, uh, a very useful portrait lens has always been and remains an, around an 85 millimeter, usually with a very fast aperture, some as fast as f1.2, although 1.4, 1.7, 1.8 are all in use. All right. So that's our starting point. That's our jumping off point. That's our, if you're, going to, if you're going to use mathematical terms here, that's our postulate. We are not going to dispute that. We are just going to accept it. So we've just accepted that an 85 millimeter lens is a good portrait lens on full frame. That's why there are so many of them out there. I mean, every major camera manufacturer who has a full frame camera probably has an 85 millimeter lens in their arsenal. Now, an example of a misconception. Uh, a professional photographer who, um, I'm not sure if he's still on YouTube or not, but he did have a YouTube channel, made a big deal one day about the fact that even on a crop sensor camera, a 50 millimeter lens or a 55 millimeter lens was not a suitable lens for portraiture because uh, you got too much distortion. That person doesn't understand where the distortion comes from. Distortion comes from relative distance. If you are very close to somebody's face, the relative distance between their nose and their ears is quite great. If you are far away from their face, the relative distance between their nose and their ears is quite small. We use a longer lens like an 85 to give us that bit of distance so that we don't get that distortion. Well, as Fuji would be quick to point out, seeing as how they have pretty much locked themselves into a micro four, a sorry, an APS-C format, a 1.5 crop factor, they have a 56 millimeter f 1.2 lens. Now, if you do the math, that works out to approximately 85 millimeters in effective focal length, equivalent to 35 millimeter film. Uh, as a 56 millimeter, it's not going to have quite the shallow depth of field that something like an 85 1.2 would have, but it still probably has better depth of field than something like uh, uh, an 85 uh, 2.8. So that gives you the same perspective because since it acts like an 85 millimeter lens on that particular format, you will be standing the same distance back from your model that you would have been with the 85 millimeter lens on the full frame camera. Now remember that. The actual angle of view of an 85 millimeter lens on full frame, a 56 millimeter lens on APS-C, and a 42.5 millimeter lens on micro four thirds. The, the actual angle of view will be almost exactly the same. That means your distance from the subject to get equivalent framing of the subject would be equal, which means that any distortion that exists uh, will be pretty much equivalent across the board. The only difference you're going to find is that the larger the sensor and the longer the focal length, the shallower the depth of field. So whereas somebody shooting with a Canon 85 millimeter f1.2 on a 5D might have the person's eye in focus, but the tip of their nose and their ears are starting to go out of focus. The person using the 56 millimeter f1.2 on the uh, Fuji probably has the ears now are in focus. The top of the nose might now still be in focus, but if there's anything beyond that, it may be slightly out of focus. The Micro Four Thirds 42.5 millimeter uh, F whatever, I think there's even a 0 
will probably be similar. So, what difference does it make to the distortion? Absolutely none. Because distortion is not based on focal length, it's based on distance to the subject. Now, before I get attacked over fisheye lenses and such, remember, we are talking about lenses here that are what are called rectilinear. They have been corrected for extreme barrel or pincushion dis distortion. So if there is any distortion, it's very minor. Whereas the fisheye lens is purposefully not corrected so that it will give you that extreme barrel distortion. So don't look at that. When I'm talking about distortion here, I'm talking about the distortion of a lens at a distance given most other factors equal. So folks, that's it for today. Remember, take the things you see on the internet with a grain of salt. And that includes what I say. If you don't agree with what I'm saying right now, go out and research it yourself, okay? I think you'll find that uh, in this particular case, these three different lenses on three different formats will be so close in actual results as to be equivalent. Well, if you like this video, click like. If you would like to see more of these videos, click subscribe. And uh, of course, if you think that you know someone who might get some benefit from this video, then by all means share it. Thank you very much. Thank you.